What is going on everyone? It is Life with Northwest Fishing Secrets and today I've got a fun little secret for you. My sister and I were out uh, fishing uh, outside of Seattle. We've been going for, Se uh, for Seattle all morning. We've been going for salmon all morning and it's been horrible. Okay, five hours of fishing hooked into one probably a coho and lost it. So we said screw it. We're coming over here to catch some flounder and we've been having a little bit of fun. Okay, and I've been wondering so we're eating some leftover barbecue from a couple days ago, and I've got these juicy, nice looking ribs. And I'm thinking, man, could I catch a flounder on some ribs? Let's go ahead and find out. First, we're gonna find a nice juicy little piece. Here, how about, oh yeah. How about this guy right there? That looks good. I'm gonna just trim it a little. Those are good. Costco, the rack's like 30 bucks for, I don't know how much. We're gonna throw this on the hook. Step three, lower to hungry flounder. <laughs> We're in 73 feet of water here, just outside of Seattle. That's uh, This is West Point right there, in case you were wondering where we're at. There's a uh, really good flounder fishing here super fun i've already done a video on it It was my first video it's really terrible i look back to it now and i'm like Ooh. but that's okay oh 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 there we go <laughs> that's how fast it is look at this this is just nuts they like the barbecue oh oh i thought it came off oh <laughs> it's a tiny little flounder look at him he's still got the the barbecue right there check it out so uh ooh, he's got pretty little red dots look at him that's gorgeous we're gonna let this little guy go and for shits and giggles we still have that uh, barbecue on there. there there we go bye let's uh rehook this and see if we can just catch another one that way you know this isn't just a joke uh so with flounder, I, I want to experiment to maybe do a video on just how many different things you can catch them on. Because we've caught them today on pieces of Hawaiian bread, herring. Uh, I, I've got some little slider burgers from that same barbecue, and I caught them on the, the burger meat. Oh, it's just nuts. These things are so easy to catch. You need to get out here and do this. Take your family out. If you've got someone who's a little averse to fishing, oh, 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 oh. how to bite it. Yeah, if you've got someone that doesn't like fishing but likes catching, take them out here to catch some flounder. Oh, oh, there we go, we got another one! Howdy boy! There's actually some big ones here. We, we did keep one big guy. But, <laughs> but yeah, there's number two in like probably less than a minute and a half on barbecue so uh yeah if you guys have some leftover barbecue and need something good to do with it oh so long little guy we'll see you next time grow really big okay this little stuff is not not as good so yeah if you got some barbecue any leftover food you know just try it out come out here just it's literally 10 minutes from elliott bay marina cruise out here just south of west point fish in 70 feet of water catch yourself some flounder they're delicious eating and, uh, and, and seriously, if you've just got some family members that want to catch fish, don't have the patience, take them here and that's the best way to have them fall in love with fishing. Anyways, hope to see you guys next time for more stuff, uh, weekly content, you know, on Pacific Northwest Fishing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment if you want. Let me know what you guys have caught fish on, just some weird bait, you know, I'd love to find out. And, uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Till then, fish on.